As a general rule, most of our animals come in there road victims. So we're still seeing road victims, and these are animals that are probably now um, lost their homes uh, or displaced from the fires, and they're moving around a bit more. In general, uh, with the amount of damage that's taken place, we were expecting many more, but we just think it's been so hot so devastating that they're all basically gone and that the, the handful that are making their way out of the fire ground quite possibly aren't even being found. The little one that's come in, it's, a, it's, it's a, you know, the size of a, of a sweet potato <laughs> with little legs and wriggly bits um, and it's still a pinky so it's got no fur yet and they're only this big and they sort of got to deserve a chance. You know, mum's already gone, um, and we just try and give them a chance. On the one hand, you do see these terrible images of burned, singed koalas and kangaroos and wallabies, and they're terrible in their own right. You know that behind those uh, more um, obvious and charismatic animals, there are many, many more smaller animals that won't be seen. Although some species will recover and it might, uh, might represent only a small part of their populations, there are real fears for the potential extinction of, uh, of many others too. If the habitat of those species is removed, then there are real fears for, uh, for whether they can persist. So these would be species extinctions, things that occur here uniquely that won't, uh, won't occur anymore.